Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the old money aesthetic. This has been gaining quite a lot of popularity, traction on TikTok lately. And although the idea, the concept of old money isn't exactly a new thing, it's sort of evolved into its own little social media aesthetic. We're going to be talking about the mindset of old money because that's very, very important. And then I'm also going to style some old money outfits for you. Okay, so first of all, what is old money? Who is she? Basically, old money is generational wealth. It's inherited wealth. You might have heard of some famous families in the United States that are considered old money, like the Kennedys, the Astors, the Vanderbilts. And then in Great Britain, you have these aristocratic families that actually have titles and they are considered old money. So old money is family wealth. And along with this comes a particular mindset. And I would call it an investment mindset. And this permeates every aspect of old money life. So whether it's financially, uh, property, lifestyle choices, aesthetic things like how they decorate their homes and how they dress, it all comes from an investment mindset. It all has quality and longevity and mind. And inevitably because of this, the things that old money people invest in are just timeless and more traditional because it's not gonna go out of style. Now, all of this is opposed to what people describe as new money. And it's quite funny, a lot of the popularity on TikTok has come out of not wanting to look new money, which is understandable from my perspective. What I would describe new money look today is that very LA Kardashian influencer look if you know what I mean. The flashy, gaudy brands, the tight clothing, and the houses that they live in. I mean, like they literally live in glass houses. <laughs> I personally am just so not a fan of modern architecture. If it was up to me, we'd all be living in Georgian houses. And it's just the blatant flaunting of their personal wealth. There is a saying, money talks, but wealth whispers. You know, old money people don't have to show off that they're rich, they just are. They're not out there flaunting it. They're whispering it. This whole idea of old money versus new money is certainly not a new concept. It has been going on for hundreds of years. For example, back in the Gilded Age at the turn of the century, there were American heiresses and they were actually called dollar princesses. They were basically new money. Their families had made fortunes off the railroads and things like oil but they didn't have titles and that was what was important. So they would actually travel over to England in search of a manses to get that aristocratic title. And when they're in England, they were definitely looked down upon as being new money. Like they were too brash, they were too bold, like their gowns were too glitzy, whatever it was, they were seen as new money. And although they were considered new money back then, now the families that these girls came from are actually considered old money. So I don't know, maybe in a hundred years, the Kardashians will be old money. Okay, before we get into the outfits, I have to address the elephant in the room. And that is that literally none of us are going to actually legit be old money unless we literally come from an old money family, which I know about you, I don't. <laughs> um, I might marry into one actually. We'll see about that. I might start manifesting that. Mm. So yes, it's not about literally being old money or how much money you have in your bank account. And that's why I'm saying like, it's kind of evolved into its own little TikTok aesthetic then Pinterest aesthetic that is sort of aspirational and tongue in cheek as well. It's taking aspects of the old money lifestyle and clothing style and also that mindset, the investment mindset of quality over quantity and timelessness that I think we could all take on board. Alrighty outfits, if you are a subscriber of my channel, then this old money aesthetic is kind of what I try and aspire to wear anyway. I call it like an elevated preppy look of what I'm trying to go for. And looking at a lot of these old money outfits that people are putting together, it's basically what I'm trying to do anyway. But there are little specific things to the old money aesthetic, which we'll get into. So outfit number one, a theme that you will see a lot in the old money style is tennis, a tennis match, a tennis skirt, 
a tennis motif. Very old money. In particular, a white tennis skirt is incorporated into a lot of old money outfits. So I, of course, had to make one around my white tennis skirt. This I got years ago, a long, long time ago from American Apparel, which as we know, is no longer with us. I have mentioned in a couple of previous videos, actually, although American Apparel isn't a thing anymore, they basically just restarted the company. It's now called LA Apparel and they still make the exact same tennis skirts. So if you're looking for a good quality tennis skirt, like this one is literally held up for six years or something like that. Um, definitely check out LA Apparel and they have heaps of colors. They, they literally American Apparel just rebranded. Then with the white tennis skirt, as you can see, I've got my Ralph Lauren button down have to get the pink into the outfit there somehow and then my white headband and of course my pearl necklace my string of pearls this is another staple in old money outfits i actually put my pearls on for each of these outfits because pearls are a must with old money and then as an extra i grabbed this pink cardigan to tie around my neck always a fun little sporty look. And that actually, I don't know if you can see, it has pearls on the cuffs. So I've done double pearls here. Outfit number two, I've gone for white on white on cream on beige. There's something about white on white that just looks really elevated and expensive. The same as black on black, like that always looks really chic. Across my shoulders, I popped on this beigey sort of oatmeal type cardigan. And then I noticed cropping up a lot on old money Pinterest were massive hats, wide brimmed hats. I will say, okay, you know how some people have hat energy, like they just pull off hats and then other people don't have hat energy. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I totally have hat energy. Like, <laughs> I just feel like I actually can really pull off hats, but I just don't wear them enough and it's a travesty. I really need to start wearing hats more because they just, they take an outfit from zero to a hundred. Yeah, the old money, expensive, wide brim hat, get amongst it. The next outfit, this is something that crops up a lot in old money and that is the white and black combo. So I wanted to do my own take of that. I have this shift dress from Lily Pulitzer. I got this in an after party sale and it was too big on me. And so I got the tailor to take it in, but I just feel like she took it in too much. So it's a little bit slinky for my liking right now. I think I might take it back and get her to take it out again, which is counterintuitive. But I do think it looks very chic with black accessories, some black heels, my black furla dome bag, and then some Kate Spade cat eye sunglasses. And this look to me is very New York socialite, which is the whole idea of old money, New York slash New England socialite. There is my take on the old money aesthetic and some outfits that might give you a little bit of inspiration when styling your own old money outfits. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.